please can we go exploring? It's a little late. But it's still light. We won't be long. All right, but it'll soon be supper time. Hello, sir. Oh, oh. when I was young how much being in Swallows and Amazons influenced my life but looking back over the last 40 years since we made it it's been yeah quite quite a staggering influence in, in all sorts of ways. The endless trek through the Sahara desert see the camels bravely plod through the sand Titty. One of the most challenging parts of it I think was actually manoeuvring the boats, like for Titi, for me, it was very difficult to push Swallow away from the island, holding a telescope, but very slippy rocks underneath, and you can't really see it. But at one stage, I slipped under the dinghy, and I went under the water up to my waist, but I carried on, I pushed her out, and I had to get her out from, I had to stop her mast getting entangled in the branches ahead, you don't really, can't really see, but that's what I had to do. And I stepped back, I pulled myself out of the lake and then just kept going. And in the long shot, you can see my dress is soaking wet. But I'm still waving like this, bye, bye. And they kept it. It was, it was so difficult to do that I really wanted to keep going no matter what and make the shot work for the crew. And we did get it in the end. Here we are, intrepid explorers making the first ever voyage into uncharted waters. What mystery shall I hold for us? Dark secret shall be revealed. This is the very special 40th anniversary digitally restored version of the film, and it's got really good bonus package. They went up to the Lake District with one of Arthur Ransom's biographers, Christina Hardiment, and she took them round the locations. And then they've got my dad's 16 millimetre footage that he shot behind the scenes of us filming on location, which is absolutely unique. And there's some interviews with me and Virginia McKenna and Susanna Hamilton, who played Susan, my sister. Virginia McKenna, of course, played by mother. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this DVD. And I know so many of my friends, they'll watch Swallows and Amazons 40 times, and they're still watching from a kind of home recorded VHS that they recorded off telly. But this is better than the um, version you'll see on telly. There's one scene that's cut out of the broadcast version. So when you watch the DVD, you can see if you can notice and see if you can see which one was chopped out. He must have fired his cannon. Look over there. Who are those two boys? Get down. They may be enemies. Ow. Let's chase them. Let's. Come on, then. I think a lot of adults feel that Swallows and Amazons won't be enjoyed by children today. Well, if you feel like that, you have to, I challenge you, to watch it with children. And most children, they snuggle down and they watch it. And they can be dying to go to the loo, but they'll keep watching Swallows and Amazons. And it does appeal, and I think it's because most children dream of camping on a deserted island. They love the idea of going off without adults and having an adventure, and that's the strength of the story. And the film has had a, a great following through the years, and now people who watched it when they went to the cinema where they were young, they really want their own children not only to watch it, but to have those adventures for themselves. And so it's gained in popularity year on year. And I can tell, because I've got a blog, sophieneville.net, about the, the, the film. And when they broadcast it, I, just thousands of people log on to the internet to find out more about the film and how it was made and where it was made and what we're all doing now.
lovely place for a camp. Well done, Roger. Natives. Well, a native certainly knew how to choose the right place. Suppose they're still here. These ashes look pretty old to me. I think we're safe. Come on, let's fetch the tents. So, um, lots of funny stories about how we made the film. But it was a wonderful film to be in and an integral part of my childhood and I think my whole life, really. Mm -hmm.